What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing Red Bull to the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, the iPhone 6, and seeing how long they survive. Now, why, you may ask? I have a hard time answering that question, but you guys only have yourselves to blame as to why I'm making this video. Nothing is good enough. My last water test apparently wasn't deep enough, and I was using the wrong type of water. I was taking the phone out too much, so I want to fix it with this video. I'm going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge to the iPhone 6 and seeing how the water or Red Bull resistance is. I know it's not a common occurrence, but what happens if you leave your phone in your pocket while you go bathe in the pool or in Red Bull? So let's go ahead and start this test and see how the Galaxy S6 Edge compares to iPhone 6 in two feet of Red Bull. All right, so here's the setup. We've got about a two foot tall cylinder, half a foot wide, and this will create some sort of pressure. A lot of people were saying I didn't have enough pressure because it was so shallow. Well. Is this enough pressure for you? I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in here once it is full with Red Bull. And I'll have them sitting just like that, all the ports open and ready to be pumped full of Red Bull. So uh, let's go ahead and fill it up and then lower these guys in there and see how long they last. All right, and just a disclosure, I just want to mention I'm not getting paid a single cent by either Red Bull, Apple, or Android. And I just want to add, drink Red Bull. It gives you wings. Red Bull's an affiliated trademark copyright. Now, both the iPhone 6 and Galaxy S6 don't feature any water resistance ratings. So the point of this video is to test what would happen if they did get submerged. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I feel a lot worse wasting Red Bull than phones. I mean, I'm used to that, but this... Drink. Drink Red Bull. Drink Red Bull. Now let's get started. All right, so uh, here we go. Red Bull test. Um, let's go ahead and start this guy and pop these guys in here. Oh man. So it's doing some funky things. All right, so going on 36 seconds. I'm surprised both of them are still on. So they're submerged about in a foot and a half to two feet of Red Bull. As you can see, both are still alive. I have no idea what that says. It swapped languages. And uh, let's just see how long these guys can last for. So I don't know if the carbonation or the stickiness, the sugar of water will have anything to do with it. And it looks like the iPhone is restarting. It uh, looks like the iPhone is still going. Um, it restarted. Samsung Galaxy S6 is still doing its own thing, so let's keep this going. All right, the iPhone is awake again. Drink Red Bull. And the Galaxy is doing its thing. iPhone 6 is still awake, so we're about two and a half minutes in. Now, both are doing surprisingly well. I didn't expect them to last so long. The sugar in the Red Bull I thought would take care of these phones faster, but let's go ahead and uh, See how this keeps going. And I just wanted to give you an idea about how tall the cylinder is. I understand I didn't show you guys earlier, so it's about two feet tall, half a foot wide. All right, so we're approaching four and a half minutes. Still going strong. I can see a whole bunch of the carbonation is coming out of the phones, out of the Red Bull. Uh, it's really getting in there. I can see some uh, seepage of light on the bottom of the iPhone display. But overall, both are surviving. And as you guys can see, they're actually in quite a bit of Red Bull. It's not just one to two inches of water. Uh, but surprisingly, both are surviving. Let's see if the iPhone is the winner this time or if it's a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. All right, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. None of these phones will be removed. All right, so it looks like the screen just dimmed out, but I can definitely see a lot of it is seeping in to the display. I didn't know that could even happen, but yeah, it's definitely in there. And it looks like reachability was just activated. Interesting. Galaxy S6 uh, looks like it's starting to press the screen on its own. It's really seeping in there. So uh, seven and a half minutes, if you guys forget your uh, phone and your drink at the party, you know, these phones will still be alive. So yeah, iPhone is uh, freaking out a little bit. It's like the home button is being affected. Drink Red Bull! I mean, water, I would expect this. In my previous test, it showed us this, but with Red Bull, there's a whole bunch of factors in there, especially the fact that this is giving them so much energy. I'm surprised they're not getting overcharged. Oh, and there it is. So Samsung Galaxy S6 appears to have turned off. I'm gonna, without removing it, try and turn it back on. And I think that's it. Samsung Galaxy S6 has had enough. So once again, Apple proves that its phones do better in liquid. And uh, yeah, this thing is just refusing to power on. Last time, 
I left it out for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the charger and see if anything works, but oh man. Yeah, it looks like it's done for. iPhone is still there, still alive, freaking out. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this guy running, and I'm going to try and power this guy on. So, my hands are super sticky, but yeah, definitely got all in there. Good luck trying to revive this guy, but against what you should do, I'm going to go ahead and try and plug this guy in, see if anything happens. Oh, so the screen has come on. Oh, never mind. This happens every single time. I think that's it guys. So Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge cannot last in a vat of Red Bull. iPhone 6 on the other hand, it's freaking out a little bit, but it's hanging in there. It's almost 12 minutes and that thing is uh, still going. So we're going to leave this guy aside. Maybe by the time the iPhone's had enough, this thing will start working, but I highly doubt that. Oh, wow. So I just saw the actual boot up screen for a little bit. And never mind. So I'll keep trying in case this thing does turn on. So at about 13 minutes, I started noticing this weird thing going on with the screen. Uh, it's crawling up towards the top of the display. It looks almost like a stock chart, maybe for Apple. Maybe I've just unlocked time travel through my phone display and it's showing me Apple stock for the next six months. Well, you don't have to thank me by giving it to you for free. This guy's throwing out some weird signal, temperature, thinks this thing is heating up. 78% battery, so let me try and power it on. It's been doing a lot of weird things. It went into download mode, some weird menu, keeps restarting, then it shows the actual startup screen and a little red icon right there. Oh, LED light. But I can't get this thing to power on. It just keeps showing this. All right, so we're at 17 and a half minutes. A bunch of that is coming up. I don't even know what that is, bleeding in the backlight, but it's still surviving. It's freaking out. Maybe at the end of this, after 30 minutes, it's still going to be alive. We'll see. All right, so we're at 20 minutes, approaching 21. This reminds me a lot of my previous video where the iPhone just was a trooper. I mean, this thing is surviving. I don't know what Apple did to them, but they seem to resist liquid very well. And uh, I mean, it's still freaking out. I see a lot more seepage on the display, but let's see if it lasts till 30 minutes. All right, so at 38 minutes, if you're at a party and your phone is sitting in a picture of Red Bull, I think you'd realize by then, the iPhone just refuses to die. Let's take this guy out. Now the screen, there's a lot of funny things going on with it. There's a bunch of artifacts on the screen. They're going this way and up and doesn't respond to touch. But yeah, it still works. Oh. The touch screen still works. It's the backlight that's being interfered with. So 38 minutes, a bath in Red Bull. The iPhone 6 has survived. The Galaxy S6 on the other hand has not. And that's a shame because this happens all the time, guys. I freaking love Red Bull. I don't think I can live without a Red Bull proof Red Bull! But the iPhone 6 has once again surprised me with its water and Red Bull resistance. 38 minutes and Red Bull, 30 minutes in water, this thing refuses to die. So Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge refuses to turn on. When I plug it in, sometimes the screen will come on, but I don't think rice will even help it this time. Overall though, the iPhone 6 surprises me yet again. Good job, Apple, and uh, excited to see how this thing stands up in my future tests. But thanks for watching, guys. We hope you appreciated this Red Bull video. It's a lot of Red Bull. I think I got like eight to 10 left over. I'll be enjoying that knowing my iPhone 6 can survive it if I spill some on it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.